Well, I've always been interested in human development and how we get to be as smart as we are. Um, we're, we're really smart creatures on this planet. And so I'm, I think that a lot of that happens uh, with babies. That babies, even though we think of them as not really very intelligent creatures because we can't, they can't hold a conversation, um, they're actually really spending a lot of time thinking about things and processing things. Um, and uh, so I'm interested in how those early moments, um, those early stepping stones of knowledge build into more complex knowledge as we get older. Um, one application of this research potentially is, is early detection of deficiencies um, in social skills. If we know what, um, what young infants should be doing at this age in terms of their social perception, um, if we can find differences then this, this may um, help us to early identify uh, potential problems such as um, uh, autism. So first we have what we call is a habituation task and so we show them the same action over and over. It's just an actor moving a cup across the table and so we measure what they look at and we see a decline in what they want and how long they want to look at it because it's getting boring. And so once they're officially bored with it we do some changes to the action so they'll grab the cup differently or they'll move it differently or they'll move it faster and the idea is that if they're interested and they notice these changes they'll want to look at it a little bit longer. If it's not noticed, they'll just treat it like the old event and look at it about the same as the old boring event. Um, and then we relate that to their grasping ability with the grasping assessment, the second task. I just thought it'd be a, it'd be a fun learning experience for her and just learn more about stuff that they're doing at the university as well and see what's going on and any way that I can help. I have a daughter obviously that age that she that they can work with. So.